When I uh, found that I was number five, I was absolutely elated uh, for a few minutes. <laughs> then I realized, oh my goodness, you know, I don't know anything about how to bring forward a private member's bill. So I went to the WIPs, who was supposed to be the fount of all knowledge and, and you know, protection of members of parliament. Um, and the WIPs just took one look at me and dismissed me and said, well, that's your problem. We have nothing to do with private members' bills. Today, it's very, very different. The WIPs realize it's in the interest of their party and their reputation and everything that private members' bills put up by their own members should be supported, but not them. So fortunately, I could turn to Joan Wally, who was a good friend of mine, and she had been in Lambeth Council, and she'd, I think she must have been on the Environment Committee or something, but she was very hot on the environment. And so she uh, knew about the Institute of Environmental Health, I think it was called. So she recommended me to go to them. Um, they said they were absolutely delighted. But they said, really, we think your best bet is to go to the LWRA. Uh, so I said, great, that's what I will do. But in the meantime, I actually have to find out um, what are the steps that you do in Parliament. So um, I didn't know, obviously, what, what I had to do to bring forward a private member's bill. So I was given one useful piece of information, which was that I would uh, be able to meet with a clerk of the House um, who was responsible for overseeing private members' bills. So I went to see him. He explained I would have three weeks in which to decide what I wanted to put in my bill. But I didn't have to write up the whole bill within the three weeks. What I had to do was establish the most important thing, the long title. Now, the long title was a mystery. I knew that I wanted a bill to outlaw fly tipping. But he explained that we could put um, a short title in, um, which would be about the carriers of waste. Um, but we would have to have a much longer title if I wanted to do the things that I'd explained to him I wanted to do, i.e., seize lorries and haul people into court and, you know, stop them and all that sort of thing. So what we eventually agreed um, was that there, there were these two aspects to the bill, there would be. One was uh, to um, provide a licensing system for the carriers of waste, which he, because they do this sort of thing, he would have contacted the civil servants in the um, relevant ministry and he would have known that they were going to be sympathetic to um, bringing in some uh, certification system. But he would also have known that they were wholly unsympathetic to everything else I wanted to do. But of course it was his job as a proper civil servant, a proper professional, uh, to devise a long and delphic sentence that covered everything I might conceivably want to do. And so, you know, it was not only to provide for the registration, but it was to provide for any other measures that might be, you know, appropriate in dealing with those who carried waste illegally, you know, whatever, whatever. So we got the long title settled, and that was the beginning of the process.